When you think of church, you probably picture this. But church can look like this. Or church can look like this. Church can even look like this. If the last year has taught us nothing else, it has taught us that church can and must change. So as the chair of the new worshiping team, I would like to share with you some of the ways the Spirit has led people to be missional, pastoral, and prophetic through new worshiping communities in our Presbytery. Hey everybody, it's Gary Mears out here at Faith Chapel in Luckett's. You know, I'd love to be able to sit here today and talk to you about all the grand and glorious things that are going on in this historic 135-year-old sanctuary. That's just not where church is happening for us this, these days. About three years ago, we started a food pantry out here. And when it started, it was pretty modest, honestly. We supported maybe 20 or 30 families a month. But we were supporting the families that our local elementary school had identified to us as being those who are most in need. Then comes COVID and demand just skyrocketed. Again, we went from about 30 families a month to 100 families twice a month. At first, everybody was unemployed. Businesses had just shut down. Now folks are back working, but you know, if you're struggling to get by at 40 or 50 hours a week, and now you're working 20 or 30 hours a week, you just can't make ends meet, so demand continues to be very, very high. We're also completely managed and staffed by church volunteers, and they've been great. And you know, this food pantry has given us an opportunity to teach those in our community who are more affluent that there are people who live right here, right in our local area, who are very much in need. It's also given a chance for moms and dads to teach their kids about our calling to provide food to the hungry, to provide drink to the thirsty, and to welcome the stranger. That calling, it's so familiar from Matthew 25. More than that, it's a bit of an opportunity to build community, both with our shoppers and with our volunteers. In the pre-COVID times, folks would come here on a Saturday morning, they'd sit in the sanctuary, have a cup of coffee, maybe a donut, hang out with their neighbors and wait their turn to go and shop, or they'd actually choose the items that they wanted. Since COVID, everything is pre-bagged and pre-boxed. So people pull into our parking lot, we put the pre-packed stuff into their cars, and away they go. So the one thing that they miss out of this new arrangement the opportunity to sit here in the sanctuary, have a cup of coffee, and talk with their neighbors and friends. So, starting later this month, May 22nd, we're gonna replicate that outside. We're gonna set up tables and chairs, have some coffee, and maybe a few donuts, and give people a chance to sit and hang out together. Both our volunteers and our shoppers, a chance to be community together. For you see, together we are community. Germantown Global Connection started when a family invited neighbors to their home for a potluck dinner, family games, and a genuine desire to spread goodness and kindness to those nearby. These same families began looking for effective opportunities to serve their local community in a personal way. We are a group of families that gather, serve, and grow together. find great joy in connecting with other like-minded families for fun and mutual support. We gather together with kids, in informal settings, and in ways that are easily accessible, build friendships, offer deeper involvement, and create kindness. We also want to contribute positively to our community by serving with a servant attitude together with other families partner with local agencies to build relationships in ways that are tangible, immediate, and impactful. We grow
grow by building on our faith traditions, avoiding meaningless controversies, using common spiritual practices, living out our faith, and reflecting meaningfully. It is our mission to make good, healthy, spiritual community accessible to all. To find out how you can gather, serve, and grow, check out our website at www.germantowngc.org. Greetings from Clarksburg New Worshiping Community. Clarksburg New Worshiping Community, though only two months old, believes that God is on the move in Upper Montgomery County and doing a new thing. We hope to create a different ethos of what a spiritual gathering looks like. We want to be a light and spark of God's love to our neighbors and beyond. We are dreaming right now in this early stage of becoming a new worshiping community. Wildly dreaming. Dreaming that a food truck could be used in ministry to those communities struggling with food insecurity and perhaps even fund some of that ministry. Or dreaming about how the arts, hospitality, and faith collide to bring about something spiritually fresh. Dreaming about how to dismantle structural racism and how to create safe spaces for all God's children. Dreaming how the next generations can teach seasoned adults about leadership and loving God. Part of our mission field is a new development called Cabin Branch in the Clarksburg, Maryland area in the northern part of our presbytery. Around 3,000 new homes are being constructed to house approximately 10,000 people just in this space alone. We are excited about how God might use us in this burgeoning community. Construction is still actively underway. We think there's a sermon coming out of this image. We are all a work in progress. Pastor Kerry Yerick and a spirited leadership team are leading the Clarksburg New Worshiping Community. They are getting to know the surrounding neighborhoods, meeting together for leadership training, fellowship, and serving, and having fun doing all of this. Thank you all for the support, encouragement, and prayers that have been given. We pray we are a beacon of hope for all to see. Hi, my name is Jesse Littlejohn and my pronouns are they and them. I am an elder serving at Oakland's Presbyterian Church in Laurel, Maryland, and I am also the recipient of a New Things grant for a worshiping community that I call Bridges. There's no denying that National Capital Presbytery not only accepts, but celebrates the full inclusion of the LGBTQIA community. We are a presbytery whose doors all across the DMV are open for all who seek to know and love God and love their neighbor. For myself as a member of the LGBTQ plus community, and as somebody who has been hurt and turned away by the church, finding a community that not only invites me in, but supports and loves me for exactly who I am has been overwhelming and beautiful. And I am thankful for the family that I have found, not only at my home church of Oakland's, but in national capital as a whole. But my story is not everyone's. And when I set out to create this new worshiping community, I did so knowing that coming to church would not be something everyone would be comfortable with. Instead, I sought to create a space that would allow those in my community, particularly the LGBTQ plus youth and young adults, to come and to be among their peers in a place that is sacred, safe, and brave. Through these small gatherings amidst those who have walked similar journeys, my hope was that people would come to see God through the love of their neighbors. What I didn't anticipate was COVID or CDC restrictions or intense Zoom fatigue, nor could I have anticipated the murders of George Floyd, Ahmaud Aubrey, and Breonna Taylor. I became even more aware of my privilege and the voice that I have 
but shouldn't necessarily be using unless in the spirit of allyship. My focus has shifted, less on the notion of creating space and instead on honoring the space that queer, queer BIPOC community members already hold. And I'm intent on finding ways to raise those voices higher. I still seek to create safe and sacred space, but it is more than just finding a room for a few people to meet. It's creating a safe environment in this community and dismantling a system of white supremacy, homophobia, and transphobia that has harmed so many. I'm in the process of setting up a meeting with the mayor of Laurel and discussing the ways we can be in partnership with our community and to lift up and show support for our LGBTQ plus neighbors. I'm also in contact with Prince George's Public Schools following the release of their anti-discrimination policy towards transgender and gender non-binary students and staff with hopes of coming alongside them at any professional development trainings or coaches, coaching that they may need. This ministry is different from the others you may have seen or will see during this time. And the quote unquote product isn't as tangible as some of the other brilliant ministries being developed within National Capital Presbytery. But I'm still thankful that New Things has supported this call and the call of our presbytery to not only welcome the LGBTQIA community as our neighbors, but to celebrate and affirm them as beloved. We are made of earth and the earth is in our hands. God's gifts given to our care. attending tending attending we are made of earth And the earth is in our hands. God's gifts. Tending. And attending. Tending. Tending, tending, and attending, tending. God's gifts given through our hands. Earth and Hands seeks to create a spiritual home for those drawn to God in nature and those wanting to learn how to better steward this precious earth. May it be so. Maybe you hear the Spirit calling you to share God's love, grace, peace, and justice in a new way. 
If you do, reach out to the Presbytery office. They can put you in touch with the New Things team, and we could discuss the resources to help make your vision into a reality. Maybe you feel called to work with new worshiping communities, but don't want to start one yourself. The New Things team is always looking for new members, people to help work together and foster these ideas as we spring forth in the National Capital Presbytery. Finally, a third way you can help is we are always looking for partner churches, churches to walk alongside, pray, and support our new worshiping committees. If you feel like your church might be interested in helping out in this way, please reach out. And as always, we covet your prayers and support. Thank you.